It might not be a big surprise that this episode is about Visceral Games being cancelled. Um, and I would like for all of us to join in a small moment of silence to uh, honor that great company and the talented individuals who worked under its umbrella. So let's begin. Let's begin right now. I mean, can you seriously believe that EA did that, those pricks? I mean, seriously, what a bunch of fu- So, hey, can we chat about Visceral for a second? You know Visceral, right? The super talented studio behind games like Dead Space? The developer who was amazing at crafting a linear action horror experience that was one of the best new horror games of the last generation? Well, I am sad to announce they were ruined by EA. You know Electronic Arts, right? The awful corporate scum bucket that ruined Dead Space 3 with crafting microtransactions and needless co-op? I mean, have you even played Dead Space 3? I mean, well, you mean you probably have. It came out in 2013. But my god, did that feel at all like the original Dead Space? Dead Space 3 was closer to Lost Planet than it was to its space zombie roots. Should have called it Lost Planet Dead Space. Ha <laughs> ha! Anyway, after Dead Space 3 failed to meet EA's ridiculous 5 million copies milestone, because horror games are a massively appealing genre instead of being a niche one according to EA, mood visceral onto the development of Battlefield Hardline. Because a studio that makes great linear action games would be great at a COD style shooter, don't you know? Of course, Battlefield Hardline sucked too, and that's when I knew Visceral was done for. If you aren't aware at this point, Electronic Arts has shut down Visceral and has a long sordid history of buying up development studios and wringing their necks till the unlucky studio is shot in the back of the head by EA's favorite gun and shoveled into EA's ever-expanding mass grave of bygone developers. A history I briefly covered in my rant video, Mass Effect Andromeda and EA's Gaping Maw, if you want to go ahead and give it a watch. In that video, I stated that Mass Effect Andromeda was the first step in the shuttering of Bioware, an event I think we all need to be prepared for. But it goes to show that history repeats itself, especially if you work for EA. Visceral Studios is what happens when brilliantly talented individuals sell their souls to the devil, because EA can't have a horror game unless it has mass appeal to everybody. Going so far as to water down its horror elements to the point that EA thought less horror and more crap like microtransactions and pointless co-op would sell more copies. Let's talk about that term for a second. Mass appeal. Have horror games ever been anything other than a genre played by people who like horror games? I ask this question rhetorically because horror games have never had mass appeal in the market. And that's fine! If EA weren't idiots, they could have positioned themselves in that horror niche. Much the same way Activision has done for military shooters. They could have made so much money and held the torch as gaming's scariest publisher. But no, EA can't have that. Those jerks at EA just can't have a good thing in their pocket and leave it alone. They couldn't just have Dead Space be a successful horror title. They had to try to make horror hip and cool with the mainstream audience. What did it get for all its ill-tried effort? A sequel to Dead Space that cost 60 million dollars. After shutting down Visceral, now unemployed developers have come forward saying EA was merciless with the budget and wanted it to be higher than even 60 million dollars. I bring this up because for Dead Space 2 and 3, EA said they didn't sell enough copies to be profitable. Which is kind of funny how EA never mentioned they poured way too much cash into a single IP and suck at business. I mean EA, buddy, come on. You seriously didn't think putting 60 million dollars behind a game was a good idea, right? I mean... You, you, you weren't really surprised when you didn't make your money back, right? I mean, right? I mean, I guess looking back in hindsight, it's kind of, kind of stupid, isn't it? Almost like you're the reason why the game didn't succeed. Hmm. EA would instead like to close the entire studio, lay people off, and complain the game never made them enough money. And now, here we are. Now in mourning of not only a great developer, but linear single player games in general. And as a bonus, this no doubt also has further implications for horror titles in the AAA industry as well. Visceral before its untimely death was working on a linear Star Wars title. You know that style of game Visceral is really good at making? EA's Patrick Soderlund revealed in a blog post that this Star Wars title Visceral was working on is now being moved in another direction saying catchy buzzwords like throughout the development process we have been testing the game concept with players listening to the feedback about what and how they want to play and closely tracking fundamental shifts in the marketplace which is just a fancy way corporate dickheads say that they focus tested the game with people the industry thinks are real gamers 
i.e. casual frat jocks and 12 year old boys. And he also said this gem too. It has become clear that to deliver an experience that players will want to come back to and enjoy for a long time to come, we needed to pivot the design. Which again is just a fancy way corporate dickheads say that they want to make the game full of DLC microtransactions and set the whole thing in a world with little to no story where you run around and do nothing fulfilling to the game says you won. You know, like Destiny! <laughs> and you know what? That's sad. It's sad that the gaming industry thinks only casual players buy games, that the only demographic worth appealing to are prepubescent boys, that there is no place in the industry for a damn fine story or a horror game that's worth playing. From this point on, I hope I don't have to talk about Bioware's lifeless corpse being rolled on top of Viscerals, but if we're going by the company Bioware belongs to, I'm probably going to have to. I think I speak for the rest of us when I say EA, you suck, and this is exactly why everyone hates you. Cheers. And you know what? Let's all give a round of applause to the studios and developers who don't mess around with their games, who are fine with crafting niche titles and linear experiences because they know damn well they can sell and make money. I mean, have you seen The Witcher? EA? Have you seen it? And from this point on, I am announcing I will no longer be buying an EA game directly at launch. I will be buying all of my EA games second hand now. That's even if I'm buying one in general, because let's face it, EA games are mostly crap. And also EA sucks! You big dickheads!